and I became an office boy in an engineering outfit called Burns and Row. Fine. For two years I worked there. They drafted me into the Army, okay? So I was in the Army for three years in the infantry. Okay, so you were drafted. So did you have any decisions? Like, did you really want to go to war? Like, anyway, like, even if you weren't drafted, would you have signed up? No. Th that's part of the, uh, the condition in a free society. The laws were established constitutionally by the government to have a draft. So you went with the draft. And my mother said, wait your turn. And I went, wait. I have two uncles and two brothers who were in it up to here in that war, and I was too. And I was lucky, because schooling gave me a high enough IQ to qualify for officer candidate school, an army training specialist program. I was drafted into the 102nd Division, the Ozarks Division. Okay. And then I went into Army Training Specialist Program, and I went to Rutgers University, New Jersey. Oh my goodness! And I and I and I, the the, the program was disbanded, and they sent us all back to the troops. Uh -huh. But this division went overseas, so they couldn't send me there, and they sent me to this division, which who were on maneuvers. And I, that's the 106th division. Okay. It's the last division in the Army activate. And it had all these bright guys in it who were being kicked out of the ASTP and all these programs and all these Americans who were hanging around and they figured the war's nearing and then let's get them all into this division. And that was the division I was in, pluralistic. Okay? And this one is Fort Benning. Uh -huh. Fort Benning is, is a, uh, the place that trains for killing. It trains army officers. Uh -huh. and the worst and the best come out of Fort Benning. Okay? And I, 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 I was there for 10 months. What state 10 is that months, in? 10 months, 10 months in between. And what state is Fort Benning in? What was this? Where's Fort Benning? What state? Fort Benning, Georgia. Georgia, okay, that's what I thought. And basically, what happened was we went into combat and we were the first division hit in the Battle of the Bulge. After five days in combat, I was a prisoner of war. Uh. They fit us with 26 divisions. They overran two regiments of the 106th Division. 7,500 of our men were forced to surrender.
pretty sure th th that if we found the exact place, it wouldn't have made much difference no, because no, it was all along those roads that those sure tanks right. were riding. And yeah, well, it was it's ridiculous, and, uh, isn't it, to think of that? All those big Panzer tanks coming down through those stupid roads. You know, well, well, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, Von Rundstedt is the guy I wanted to remember to the lady, General Von Rundstedt, if she oh, knew him. What were you talking about with that lady anyway? We didn't understand. I was trying to show her I was a Kriegsgefangener, a war prisoner. What was she well, saying? I was 24 years Did old. she understand what that meant? She, huh? she must have understood what that meant, huh? Yeah, it says you were my son, Marino, Marino, my son. Friend, school, she's ah, yeah, yeah. She has no, she had no children. She had no children. And her husband was working. Was working. A little bar out there in the country there like that. Hmm? Yeah, no, it was just it was weird. You know? I wonder who whoever drinks in that place. It wasn't even like a hit bar. It was very sophisticated, wasn't it? I mean, a nice, nice place. Yeah, it was beautiful. You know, it was just, you know, just the the way things are done in that. Uh, you know, rural area up there. You know, something you just you're not used to living in New York. You're not used to that type of uh, activity, uh, type of existence. You know, where it's just open, you can walk right in. So really, the odd dense forest is not. It's it's a, a geographical area, really. It seems like there's a lot chopped down to a lot. A of lot of houses. Of, a lot of she said. Got chopped down. She says the. Uh, Siegfried bunkers were kaput. She says they were all destroyed. Yes. 